Good eye, mate. Today we're gonna talk about how to make a brandy from red wine. To be honest, this is not something I really want to post, since there isn't much to talk about the chemistry. But one of my viewers requested, and、uh, I think it would be interesting to have a look of the distillation procedure. So today our focus is going to be how to properly set up a distillation apparatus. First, to measure out about 300 ml of red wine, and by using a funnel, the liquid is transferred into a 500 ml round bottom flask. It's very important not to fill the flask all the way to its neck, as when the liquid boils, it will be likely to flow over the condenser and contaminate the products in the receiving flask. I recommend to keep the volume of the liquid below two third of the maximum volume of the flask you're using. And here is the entire apparatus looks like. Each part is secured with a retort stand. And、uh, let's get the water going. It's important to let the water flow from the lower part of the condenser to the upper part of the condenser. By using a water pump, the heated water is allowed to cool down and to be recycled. For the type of the water pump, just go get the cheapest one because there is no need to have a great current. On the top right side, I had a thermometer to keep a check on the temperature. It's very important to monitor the temperature, especially when doing a fractional distillation, for which I might do one in a future video. I use a water bath for the heating source to prevent it from overheating. But eventually, I abandoned the water bath method as it was not very efficient in this case. As the liquid boils, you should see it condensing on the wall of the glass. If it doesn't, you can insulate the flask in a glass adapter by using aluminium foil. To increase the efficiency, I opted to use a vacuum distillation. I had the vacuum pump running off camera. This method increases the efficiency by reducing the pressure inside of the apparatus, therefore reducing the boiling point of the liquid. And here is the product. It is about 15 milliliter. But I don't recommend anything to be consumed if it's made in a lab. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.